I was angry. I wanted to teach people and I thought, well, if I can't teach privileged whites, I'm going to help people who don't have opportunity. My name is Faye um, Halstead. I grew up in Zimbabwe. And I came to study fine arts in South Africa. And I was lecturing. I majored in painting and started working in ceramics. And I was lecturing in Durban and I lost my job. I was angry. I wanted to teach people and I thought, well, if I can't teach privileged whites, I'm going to help people who don't have opportunity. And I started working with Bonnie and Chalanchali, our, our maid's daughter. It's been a fairy tale story. It's grown now to include about 80 people, and we live here at Cavisham in KwaZulu Natal. I didn't choose to make art more so detailed and intricate. What we did by working with the Zulu culture is they have always created the most exquisite craft. This beautiful, colorful brand of Ardmore, I think what it is is that this continent and this country is so rich in so much elegance, sophistication. It is inspiration for artists. And Picasso, so many artists have been to Africa to get inspired. It's the rawness of it. And what we've created here for Ardmore is the elegance, the color, the celebration of life. And for me, that is what has been Ardmore's success. Through the years, we've just grown and grown and grown, and we've developed the most amazing work. I don't think there's anything like it in the world. And to see people start at Ardmore, I say, remember this day. They come, they've lost their parents from HIV. Many of them have. We got hit hard with um, HIV with the artists in 19... 85 was one of our first artists died and we worked really hard with them but in those days nobody wanted to talk about it so so many of my artists we lost at least 40 wonderful wonderful artists including Bonnie it was very painful to lose these artists at the time and I took a very positive approach I made a hospital at the studio and I kept artists with me close we nursed them now since 2010 um, most of the artists are on antiretrovirals and they've lived very well with um, being HIV positive and we haven't lost one artist. My children grew up with Ardmore. My two daughters are very, very creative. They studied fine art, uh, also in Peter Marisburg University, and my son studied business. When he'd finished school, I said, you know, I can't really leave you much, but we could have fun starting a new business. And why don't we take these fabulous designs off the ceramics and turn them into fabric? And we started that business in about 10 years ago now. And it's been such a fun journey working with the kids and my daughters are the designers. And in fact, in 2013, we were discovered by Hermes, the French wonderful luxury brand in Paris. And Catherine has designed the most exquisite scarves for them. And then also two, three years ago, we were discovered by Cole and Son. In New York, our work was discovered there, and we've produced the most fantastic and one of their most popular selling wallpaper uh, designs that we did with them. And in fact, in 2021, we're gonna launch uh, this number two uh, uh, collection. So that's very, very exciting. I think our worldwide success has come about because we've produced a new visual. It's a bit quirky. It's raw, it's naive in a beautiful sense of life. This feeling of what we've achieved here, I cannot tell you what it, what it feels like. I lie in bed at night and I go, sure, I've done something good. You know, something in the, my wildest dreams has happened, but it's come from hard work and dedication. What is my dream is to continue, to just see that when once I'm gone, the Ardmore studio and the artists and their children have continuity and to put steps and measures in place that they not, that they become self-reliant on me. So my visual is for me to be able to step back and to watch my teachings come out.